Kenya's president, Ruto, has laid out several colossal projects to shake things up and take the nation to soaring heights. From revolutionizing our transportation networks to ensuring water security and boosting our economy, President Ruto's promises hold the keys to unlocking a brighter future for us all. So, my viewers, fasten your seatbelts and get ready to explore a world of jaw-dropping possibilities. From affordable homes to value-added agriculture, we're about to embark on a journey that will inspire you. Stay tuned as we uncover each mega-project. Let's roll! Affordable Housing Program Over 6.5 million Kenyans live in overcrowded slums and informal settlements, struggling to find decent homes. Fortunately, President Ruto's Affordable Housing Program is here to change that narrative and make dreams come true. The project's vision is to construct a whopping 250,000 houses yearly for low-income earners across the country. The house will be built through public-private partnerships whereby the government will provide land and supporting infrastructure while the private investors will provide the finances. The homes will be designed with utmost care to provide comfort and dignity since housing is the bedrock of a thriving society. This game-changing program targets those who need it the most, low-income earners, including civil servants. And by constructing these houses on such a massive scale, the affordable housing program is creating a whirlwind of job opportunities. It will employ thousands of skilled and unskilled workers and support their families. Moreover, the construction is in full swing, and families are already moving into brand new homes. The Nairobi Railway City this visionary project aims to do something groundbreaking, integrate transportation, housing, and commercial spaces around railway stations. With the construction already underway, the Nairobi Railway City spans a whopping 425 acres between Haile Selassie Avenue, Uhuru Highway, Landys Road, and Banyala Road. Notably, the Nairobi Railway City is set to expand and decongest our beloved Central Business District. Designed by brilliant British architects, this urban wonder will be rolled out in phases, with the first phase aiming for completion by 2030. The project is part of the Nairobi Integrated Master Plan, the Nairobi Transport Master Plan, and the Nairobi Commuter Rail Master Plan. Furthermore, the Nairobi Railway City will have non-motorized transport corridors in every precinct, making walking or cycling around the city easy. Besides the railway development, the project includes an expanded central station, new bus rapid transit, BRT, lines, and stations. Dongo Kundu Special Economic Zone This mega-project spans approximately 3,000 acres and sits near the Mombasa port in the stunning Lakoni sub-county of Mombasa County. This location is no coincidence, it's all about strategic planning, as this zone boasts high potential for development and fierce competitiveness in logistics and facilities. The zone will be a stone's throw away from the Mombasa port, the Mombasa Southern Bypass, the Standard Gauge Railway, SGR, and the Mwa International Airport. Moreover, the Dongo Kundu SEZ's development journey has been graced by the Japanese government, who lent their expertise from master planning in 2015 to the ongoing on-site infrastructure development. With a vibrant hub for trade, manufacturing, and industries, this economic zone is set to attract foreign investment like a magnet. Furthermore, Phase 2 of the Dongo Kundu Bypass and an 8.96 km dual carriageway project are underway. These developments pave the way for seamless connectivity and create a robust infrastructure that will power the zone's growth. Eter Dam President Ruto's administration knows how crucial water security is, and they're leaving no stone unturned to make it happen. Slated for completion in April 2021, the project hit a roadblock in September 2018 when the contractor filed for bankruptcy. And that wasn't all, the project faced hurdles like landowner compensation issues, alleged flawed procurement processes, and a flurry of court cases. Fortunately, President Ruto's administration is determined to bring the Eter Dam to life. Construction is back on track. The project is marching toward completion, and once it's up and running, it'll be a water savior for Nakuru County and its residents. Notably, the Eter Dam is expected to supply 100 million liters daily. 
That's clean drinking water for approximately 800,000 Nakuru County residents. It's a lifeline for families, farmers, and businesses alike. Nairobi Bus Rapid Transit BRT, system Previously, funding challenges led to delays in completing this 5.6 billion Kenyan shillings masterpieces, the good news is that President Ruto has revived plans and secured some exciting financing for the project. Kenya and the European Union have teamed up and are all in for making the Nairobi BRT system a reality. The EU has committed a staggering 50 billion Kenyan shillings, 347.6 million euros, for the project. Furthermore, the BRT will not be an ordinary transit system. The Nairobi BRT system, also known as Green Mobility Nairobi Core BRT Line 3, BRT 3, will invest in zero-emission electric buses. It'll ensure the public transport system is accessible to everyone, including youth, women, and low-income households. Overall, the Nairobi BRT system will ease traffic flow, making your daily commute a breeze and bolstering the city's transport system like never before. County Aggregated Industrial Parks These parks are all about creating the perfect environment for businesses and communities to thrive. President Ruto knows that each county has unique strengths and is determined to tap into them for the greater good. The County Aggregated Industrial Parks are a farmer-centric, export-oriented approach that puts Kenya's small-scale farmers and producers at the heart of it all. With the County Aggregated Industrial Parks, we're looking at a game-changing bottom-up economic transformation agenda. It's all about bringing farmers together to aggregate, market, and export their produce nationally. The capes are set to boost Kenya's overall agro-processing and increase farmer income. Also, the County Aggregated Industrial Parks will be a bustling economic activity, creating job opportunities from production to processing, packaging to export. Besides, the capes will be armed with cold storage facilities to reduce post-harvest losses and ensure no more wasting of precious produce. Moreover, each county will have its manufacturing capacity, thanks to a minimum of four manufacturing sheds in every CAIP. This means that the power of manufacturing will be in the hands of each of our 47 counties, bolstering local industries and creating prosperity for all. Road Projects President Ruto's administration knows how vital well-constructed roads are for a nation's progress. And they're not holding back. A network of robust roads is on the horizon, enhancing connectivity and easing transportation challenges. Already the government is constructing various major roads across the country, including the Mtwapakwa Kadzengo Kilifi, A7, road, linking Kenya and Tanzania. This road is a game-changer, forming a crucial part of the 7.5 billion shillings multinational coastal road corridor. It's set to boost trade, economies, and integration between Kenya and Tanzania. With improved connectivity, more jobs, and flourishing businesses, this road will help erase the barriers of poverty and create a brighter future for all. Notably, Ruto has already launched the first phase of building the 40 km Mtwapakwa Kedzengo Kilifi, A7, road, setting the stage for prosperity and progress. Irrigation Systems President Ruto is planning to construct 100 mega dams and 1,000 small dams. These dams aren't just for irrigation, they'll serve livestock and domestic needs, too, making a monumental impact on the livelihoods of our farmers. For instance, the revival of the Galana Kalalu irrigation scheme will solve the ongoing food crisis, paving the way for abundance in our harvests. Besides, President Ruto is leaving no stone unturned when investing in mega irrigation schemes. It's committed to ending food shortages from Tana and Athai Rivers Development Authority to Ola and Bura irrigation schemes. With these irrigation schemes in action, food insecurity will become a thing of the past, especially in Kilifi, Tana River, and the entire coast region. Conclusion From the game-changing affordable housing program to the visionary Nairobi Railway City and the impactful county aggregated industrial parks, President Ruto's administration leaves no stone unturned to revolutionize our nation. The potential for these projects to boost job creation, attract investment, and enhance our infrastructure is undeniable. 
They form a comprehensive roadmap for a thriving economy and a brighter future. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to show your support, hit that like button, share it, and make sure you subscribe to our channel. Bye.